Hey guys, Steph, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good. So in today's video, we are doing a good old fashioned haul and I am so excited just about unboxing all of this. So the other day, as you guys may know, if you follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, I will plug myself up here. I was in London because I was filming a couple of lives with Kiko. It was quite a last minute job. It went very, very well. I was quite nervous. I don't normally get nervous about those kind of things, but it was like my first like on location shoot for a really long time. Thankfully it went well, everyone was happy. I had the best time ever. So yeah, I was in London and if you guys don't know, I live in Cornwall, which is like four and a half hours on a train away from London. So quite a way away. And in Cornwall, we don't have anything like Selfridges. We don't have any kind of mall. We have Boots and Superdrug. I think that's literally all we have. No like department stores. So when I found myself in London with a whole free day, which never happens because the shooting was in the evening, I was like, I'm gonna go shopping. I'm gonna go ham at Selfridges and that's what I did. And so I'm gonna show you everything that I got. I got some bits from Selfridges. I got some bits from Primark. And then I also thought I would throw in a couple of things that I got from TikTok shop recently. I'm so excited about this. Like even though I know exactly what's inside these bags, there's something about me like unboxing it and being like, just putting it there. I don't know. I like just, do you guys ever get like this? Like when you buy stuff, if you like buy stuff or you collect things, do you ever just like lay it out in front of you and just go, nice. Like this is, this is pleasing. But yeah, we got a lot to go through today. So let's get on into it. What should we start with? Let's start with, let's start with TikTok shop. So the first thing I got, kind of catfished me a little bit. I saw this on, and it wasn't anyone else's fault other than my own, because I was just excited and just bought it without properly looking at it. I was on Mel's TikTok Live a while ago, and she had a really great offer for this bag from Ego. Now I have this bag, I'll like insert a picture of it. It's like a Balenciaga dupe. I have the green one, like the full size larger one. And I thought I was buying the full size black one, and it arrives. It's, it's very small, but I actually really kind of love it. It's one of those things that you guys know when like I see a tiny little thing, I get all the emotional and like attached to it. But yeah, this was like 15 pounds, which I should have clocked it then that it was so cheap because it was a teeny tiny little bag, but um, I love it. I still love it. I can't fit anything in there. I can't fit my phone in it, like not even close. I could probably fit like, uh, I don't even know if I could fit him fit my cards in there. But regardless, it's cute. And I love that they've got this little card holder, but again, that there's no cards fitting in here. It's probably like a pound coin holder or like if I have like a pound coin for a trolley, I could put that in there. Tiny little mirror that I can barely see my face in because everything on this bag is super tiny, but I love it. It's so cute. And um, yeah, I thought it was gonna be a bit bigger, but I actually kind of don't mind. I'm gonna get the big one as well, because I love it. But the, the small one's really kind of cute as well. Okay, the next thing I got from TikTok shop because everyone seems to rave about this and the girl that used to do my nails, Jade, she actually told me about this like a couple of years ago maybe. It's the Shawn Mendes Signature 2 perfume. It's for men and women. And this was like six pounds or something. Everyone says it's like the most amazing perfume. I don't have anything on right now. Let's see. It smells like quite masculine, which I do actually like. I don't know, I'm gonna have to like let it settle on my arm for a second. I don't. I mean, it's super cheap. It's a nice perfume for how, like, how much it cost. But there's nothing about it that I'm like, wow. Um, it is nice though. I don't know, I'm gonna see how it settles on my skin. But yeah, I got that. Seems nice enough. Yeah. Itchy nose, itchy nose. I'm not picking it, kind of am. The next thing I got was again from Mel's Live and I was aware that this was a mini, but I haven't used this in so long. And you guys know this was like one of my OG faves. It's the Bobbi Brown face base. And so I just got the mini one because I have enough primers and products. So usually if there's a mini, uh, I will now tend to go for that because I do not need, that looks odd. I do not need copious amounts of the product, but I think I got this for 14 pounds or something. Oh my God, the smell of this stuff. This was honestly like my most favorite like primer base for under my makeup. Oh, it just smells so insane. It's like, it's like orangey kind of sweets, but yeah, pick that up as well because it was an old fave. And even though it's a mini, it's actually not that mini. Hmm, happy with that. So doing this haul already so far makes me realize I need to just not go on Mel's TikToks because pretty much everything came from Mel's TikTok. I got not one, but two boxes of Isoclean, again, because the deals were so good. So if you guys don't know, Isoclean is like the best brush cleaner ever. So this is just like the standard brush cleaner and you've actually got a little, I think you do anyway, a little dish thing at the bottom. 
Eh. There we go. And yeah, this was a really good offer and it sells like so fast. So it comes with a little dish that you basically just put some of this liquid in and then you rub your brushes around, rub it on a towel or whatever. I just use really old flannels and it takes off everything. So I got that and then I also got a refill as well. This big like jubbly refill. So I'm uh, never gonna run out of brush cleaner anytime soon. And I love that it says in the front for idiots like me, not for human consumption. Just in case someone went, that looks, that looks delicious. Let's have a pint of that. Uh, so thank you, Isoclean, good to know. So I got that box and then I also got this one here and this I actually haven't used before. So this came with a hand sanitizer, which honestly, after the last few years, the hand sanitizer just like, I could quite happily never see a bottle of hand sanitizer ever again. And yet here I am buying one. I wonder if it smells nice. Nope, it smells like tequila. But the reason I got this bundle was because of the biocidal surface cleaner. Is that what it's called? Biocidal, bio, yeah, I guess so. But this basically cleans everything. And if you guys have learned anything from me over the last few years, I'm a mess. I get like shit on everything, not actual shit. I make a mess of everything. Uh, and this cleans like everything. Mel's done like a chair, a handbag. And so yeah, that's gonna come in handy. Okay, boxes be gone. I'm guessing you probably shouldn't drink that either. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't say it on the front, so maybe you can. Now let's move on to a little bit of Primark, honestly. The Primark that I went to, it was the Tottenham Court Road one, which has a place in my heart, but actually, after going to it the other day, I'm like mildly traumatized. So loads of amazing things in there. Great, had a great time. And then the queue, I was in the queue longer than I was in the actual like shop, like shopping for things. It was ridiculous, but um, still, got a lot of stuff. <gasps> okay, I only got one item of clothing because I was only really in there to get some like beauty bits, but I saw this dress. Didn't even try it on, couldn't be bothered, but look how stunning that is. I'll show you guys like a little bit further away so you can maybe see the print, but it's got this like Renaissance print almost, and this was like 13 pounds, and it's got these little like underwiring, on the cups and I was thinking, even if this didn't work as a dress for me because it is quite like tight and short, which I don't tend to normally go for, I was thinking I could just cut it and have it as like this little like corset top and tuck it into like jeans or joggers or cargos or whatever. So yeah, I just picked that up on a whim and there was this guy and he walked past and he went, that's a nice dress. And I was like, thanks. He was like, where did you get that? And I was like, just, just upstairs. And he was like, that's stunning. I was like, I think it would suit you. And he was like, I think you're right, I might have to go and get one. So hopefully that guy got the dress because he would look stunning in it. But yeah, I got this in a size six to eight and when I tried it on, it was a little bit like tight around the bum and a little bit short. I might still make it work as a dress, but 100% this as like a little corset top situation, I think it's gonna be stunning. Okay, the next thing, if you guys have seen my ugly Christmas tree that I now do every single year that's basically covered in the most ridiculous and random Christmas decorations, I saw this little guy and I couldn't not have him. Look at him, he's like this little fairy pig with this little glittery tutu skirt thing and his wiggly wand and I just love him. His legs make me a bit emotional. I don't know what it is about his legs, but just the way they're just like, they're dangling. I. I was looking at him for probably way longer than I should have done. And I was just like, you have to come home with me. And he made it home safe. Like he didn't get crushed in my suitcase or anything. And this was three pound 50. And it's like this nice little like woolen kind of material, but um, big fan of him. Everyone in the comments, give him a name please. Cause uh, yeah, he's, he's gonna go near the top I reckon. So the next load of Primark bits are all beauty related. So yes, expect a testing Primark video coming very, very soon because even though we have like a pretty good Primark in Cornwall, we only got it recently, the beauty section at the moment isn't that great. I feel like I've tried pretty much everything there. So I wanted to go in to like a bigger Primark and get some bits that I haven't tried yet. I'm still waiting on trying the um, Bobby Brown face base dupe. I can't find it anywhere. So the first thing I got was this Eastern Bloom Velvet Whip Bronzer. Now I might actually open this up because I wanna see what it looks like. I was thinking this could maybe be some sort of dupe for like the Chanel bronzer. Comes with this little kabuki brush, so it's quite a nice set if it's like a little stocking filler or something. And yeah, this is the bronzer. Okay, it is giving me serious Chanel vibes. Doesn't really have any kind of smell. It does look quite orange, but then again, so do I sometimes. So yeah, I'm very intrigued by that. 
I then got this eyeshadow palette, it's called the Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette. This was six pounds, and if I open it up, you can see it's a bunch of like pinky tones. And this was actually part of a very exciting collection that kind of inspired me to basically fill my bag up with everything. Look at this. Primark have gone in hard with the Charlotte Tilbury dupe. So we have a cream wand luminous finish, and this one is in the shade, it's just the highlight one but it literally looks like one of the Charlotte Tilbury wands. Is that focusing? There we go. So it looks like this. It's kind of in that like pillow talk sort of color as well. We then have the Sweet Secrets Lash Enhancing Mascara. And again, the packaging on this, if my camera will focus, there we go, is stunning. Like this looks way more expensive than just like a Primark mascara. And this, I don't know if it has the price on it. This is three pounds. Like the packaging is so nice. They then had this lipstick here, which I've heard loads of people talking about. This is called the Matte Lipstick. And I got this in the shade Daydreamer. I think this is the only color that they had, but does this not look exactly like a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick? I didn't get a chance to actually see what the color was like, so it was quite busy. So let's have a look now. Look, that, you would think that was Charlotte Tilbury. It's not as heavy, but the packaging looks so nice. This is the color here. So it doesn't quite look like, um, why is the name just gone out of my head? Pillow Talk. But it does it like quite a nice, it's almost like a rusty rose color. I'm not gonna use it now because I wanna save it for the video. And then we have this bad boy here. We have the collection one. We have the elf one. We have all these different brands. Primark now have their own variation of the Hollywood filter. So this is the Flawless Glow Radiant Glow Primer Foundation Hybrids. And look. It's got the doe foot. I got this in the shade Caramel because when you blend it out, it is fairly sheer. So I figured that kind of undertone would work fairly well for me. But yeah, look at that. It gives you like a nice sheen to the skin. So again, gonna be trying that out very, very soon. I might even film that video tomorrow morning. Stay tuned. I then got a couple other bits. I got the Golden Glow Highlighter, which looks like this, it looks stunning. I love these kinds of highlighters from Primark, so I'm looking forward to giving that a go. They also had like a rosy kind of color. And then I was looking for something for my brows and I spotted this. Haven't heard anything about this. It's the Brow Sculpt and Fix Brow Wax. It's called the Brow Lamination. And yeah, I think it's just like a, a brow wax kind of situation, pretty much what it says on the tin, but it comes with this little almost like toothbrush brush as well. So I'm very intrigued by this. And this is four pounds. I then also got these the other day, but I thought I may as well just show them to you guys now. These were from the Truro store near where I live. And this is the PS Pro Flawless Matte Concealer. And then I also got the PS Pro Bronzer, which looks, can I open it? It's all sealed up, but it's brown. It's like, it's like a standard kind of bronzy color. But yeah, with all of that, I pretty much have a full face of Primark makeup. So, uh, can't wait to chuck it on my face. Last but certainly not least, we're gonna move on to the mothership. I spent way too much money in Selfridges in like barely any time at all. I think I spent like 500 pound. I was in there for like half an hour. Okay, so first of all, it's one of the things that I am the most excited about. It really doesn't look like anything though, to be honest, but this is the Viral Skims dress. I got this in the last size small that they had. I was looking for a size extra small because I've seen a few people wear it and they said maybe to go like a size slightly smaller, but this still fit me pretty well. So I've never tried anything from Skims. Let me know what you guys think of Skims as like a whole brand, but I did try on one of like the shapewear pants things under this and it did help a bit, but it wasn't quite right, so I decided to leave that, but I did get this dress, and this dress was a little bit more pricey, like, considering what it is, it's literally just, like, this black maxi dress. I'm sure you guys will see me do a TikTok on it soon. I think I paid around, like, 90 pounds for this, but it was the last one. I did go in there specifically looking for this dress, and it was the last one in this size, in this color, so I was like, okay, I'll get it, and I don't have any kind of, like, plain black maxi dress that I can style up with loads of different things, so... I figured 
seems like a nice material. It fits really, really well as well. Um, so I was like, why not? Why not? Because it's <laughs> So now we're gonna move on to where I spent most of my money, which was just on the makeup counters. So first of all, I went to the Morphe counter because again, we don't have anything like that in Cornwall. And even though I don't tend to use too much Morphe these days, I have wanted to try out their foundations for a really, really long time. So I got the Morphe Filter Effects Soft Focus Foundation, which is a medium to full coverage. And I got this in the shade medium 14. Hopefully it works for me. I was like swatching a bunch of different colors when I was at the counter and this one seemed best, but the lighting wasn't 100%, so fingers crossed. I then got the Morphe 2 Hint Hint Skin Tint. This is a sheer to medium coverage and I got this in the shade Hint of Toast. Again, I feel like this maybe like just looking at it doesn't look quite right, but the lights at the time, it did work. So again, fingers crossed. If it doesn't look right on camera, I'm just gonna blame Selfridges. I then also got the Filter Effect Soft Radiance Concealer, and this is in the shade Medium 16 Neutral. And then to go with my skin tint, I also got the Morphe 2 Hide and Peak Concealer, and I got this in the shade Peak of Sand. Let me know if any of you guys have tried these foundations and concealers, because I've seen a few people talking about them, but Morphe isn't like hyped up like it used to be. Um, so I don't know, I'm just very, very curious. I know some people love it, but I haven't really seen too much about it on the internet, so let me know if you guys have tried this. I then went to the Refi stand, which was so cool to see Jess Hunt's brands just in Selfridges, because Jess is actually from like an hour or so away from where I live, so it was very, very cool to see a brand doing so well in Selfridges. So the first thing I got from Refi was a top up of my favorite brow sculpt. You guys know I swear by this. I have it in my brows right now. It's pretty much what I always wear in my brows. So I got another one of those. And then I also got one of the lip sculpts. They only had two shades of these actually available. They had like the really, really deep color and then they had the shade blush, which is actually the one that I was after. I didn't get the gloss or anything because you guys know I'm not too much of a gloss person as it is. So the packaging is very fi, very simple. They actually didn't have any testers on the stand. So I don't actually know what this color is fully like. I just had to go buy swatches online. That is literally like the color I have on my lips right now. That is like my go-to kind of pink shade. So that looks great. Looks very, very creamy as well. And then if you guys haven't seen Basically you have the lip liner at the top and then you have the kind of like top coat that seals it all in place and apparently this stuff does not budge. So yeah, I'll probably do some sort of like TikTok, YouTube short or something on this as well to see how it actually works. I then got a lot of REM Beauty. Is it REM Beauty or is it REM Beauty? Cause I feel like it's REM because it's Ariana Grande but I don't know. But yeah, we don't have anything like this in Cornwall. And I was looking at getting it online, but I figured because I was going to London, I may as well go and see it in person and get the right shades and stuff. So yeah, got a lot of stuff. Let's just go through it. And of course you can expect a testing REM Beauty video very, very soon because I'm dying to get this on my face. Okay, let's whiz through some of these bits. I got the Midnight Shadows eyeshadow palette in the shade Go Go Boots so you can see it's those kind of shades there. I'll include some cutaways of the actual products and everything. But I really liked this kind of like icy blue here. I then got the Interstellar Highlighter Topper in the shade Miss Mercury, which I am gonna show you guys quickly because it looks stunning. The packaging, by the way, of this brand is so heavy. Like obviously the products are a tiny bit more expensive, but they really weren't that bad in comparison to other brands and the packaging is really weighty. But look how stunning that is. Let's do a little swatch without ruining it too much. Look, it's like super intense looking, but actually on the skin, it shears out, but it still catches the light so nicely. I then got a pair of lashes. Now I don't tend to wear too many high-end pairs of lashes. I like brands like Kiss and things like that, but these did look really, really cute and I figured why the hell not? I was already spending tons of money anyway, so I may as well chuck in a pair of lashes, but these were in the style Grow and Show and you can see they just wing out on the outer corners there. My camera does not want to focus on anything today. I also got the eyeliner marker that everyone seems to be talking about and I just got this in the shade Midnight Black. I think it's the only one that they did. I also got one of the liquid eyeshadows and this color is just sexy. It's the shade Milky Way and it's got some of the prices on here. This was 15 pounds. If you guys can like see the way the color shifts there, it was just stunning. I had swatches all up my arm but this is the one that I went for. I also got the Practically Permanent Lip Stain Marker. I was very, very intrigued by this. I got it in the shade Booked and Busy. So it's just like, almost like a felt tip kind of liner pen, but it's a permanent 
lip liner marker thing. Love the color. It's like my standard kind of like rosy pink. But yeah, I was very, very curious about that. I'm gonna need another face. I then got the concealer because how could I not? And I got this in the shade medium 6W. Again, it was the case of swatching like every single color on my arm and then going, that'll do. Oh, actually another thing from Morphe. I got this Supreme Brow Gel. It's a sculpting and shaping wax and I got this in the shade clear. Sorry, hun, forgot about you. Oh my God, I'm like overwhelmed with how much I have here. I got at the borderline coal eyeliner pencil in Teddy Bear. I don't tend to gravitate towards many pencil liners, but these days, cause I'm doing this kind of like siren eye, cat eye sort of situation. I like to line my lower lash line a little bit and I like to use more of like a cool tone brown. So I thought I would give that a go. We've got the mascara. This is the volumizing one. They do two different types, I think. One's like lengthening, I think. And then this one's volumizing. So obviously I went for that. I also picked up the Luna Magic Blurring Primer because I mean, again, I'm not, I don't need any more primers. I'm not even much of a primer girl day to day, but I was there, I was in the moment, I had a basket and I was filling it up. So I got that as well, so I could give it a full on try. I also got the Midnight Shadows Eyeshadow Gloss. So apparently this is literally just like, an eye gloss. So it really doesn't look like much, but I'm imagining like a super wet eye look. Yes, maybe even like over the top of that liquid eyeshadow that I got to make it kind of look like an oil slick or something. But thought I would try that, you know, not in London very often. Selfridges is a very exciting time for me. So uh, filled my bag. I then got the Eclipse Cheek and Lipstick in the shade Callback. Now you guys should be very proud of me for this because this is a pretty bright color. I mean, like, look at that. Imagine that all over the cheeks. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do you guys proud and I'm gonna go for something a little bit out of my comfort zone. And I think, is that everything I got? Is that everything? What is this? Okay, this is the On Your Collar Matte Lipstick and I got this in the shade Bubbly. I thought this would go quite nicely with the lip liner thing. It's like this super light kind of pinky nude. They smell really good as well. They smell like vanilla icing. Yeah, the packaging on these are really, really nice. It's like a little astronaut suit. This little lipstick's like, off he goes to space, woo. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything I got. Now my desk is just covered. So yeah, guys, that is everything that I got from London while I was away. And then a few little TikTok shop bits sprinkled in throughout. Let me know which videos you guys are excited for. Are you looking forward to the Primark, the REM Beauty, the Morphe review? Are you looking forward to me trying to wear this and fit something in this? I mean, like I could probably fit like a lipstick in there. Yeah, that would fit just. As always, I'll link as many products as I can down below. And let me know if you want me to do kind of like a short sort of like real TikTok kind of video. I'll film them all at once, but let me know if you guys want me to do a video on the Skims dress to let you know if it's worth it or not. Like I said, I'll leave links to anything that I can down below in the description box. If you guys enjoyed this video, as always, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. Subscribe, turn on notifications, do all the above, and let me know if there's any other videos you guys want me to do in the future so I can go shopping and buy loads of products. Uh, but yeah, give me a name for this guy. Almost like flung him out of the way then. Give me a name for this guy. We're now gonna clean up our mess. The bag would probably fit him quite well. Stunning. But yeah, I'm now gonna clean up all this mess and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.